As far as I'm concerned, they murdered my dad and a lot of other guys out there and then didn't say a word to nobody and hoping they would get away with it. He started in Wah Chang in 1956. He worked on a reduction, Zerk reduction as an operator. And when he had come home, I mean, his clothes was just, would be black with something. It was pretty tough. But I don't know if Dad ever just really didn't say, I don't want to go to work today. He never did. He was the kind of guy that, that's my job. I go to work and do it. My dad was like me, heavy. And he got down to nothing. And uh, I drove back to the hospital. To yeah. Never done this before, cried about it. But anyway, all the way back to the hospital. You know, usually when somebody's riding, they don't, but my dad was looking at everything. Like, I know he knew that he'd never see that again. And then after dad died, and geez, mom was in her 80s, she started getting skin cancer. And then she ended up with breast cancer, got lymph node cancer, got colon cancer. And she, us kids are trying to, where in the heck did she get this crap? Then we all put it together. She used to wash my dad's coveralls that were black from this crap that he'd bring home. The residual at Wah Chang, they're saying, lasted until 2011 from the uranium that they melted for two years. She got her cancer from my dad's coveralls that he wore at Wah Chang. I know that for a fact, and I'll argue anybody with it. Because like I say, she never worked any place but the house, the home. It's not so much about the money, but it's just that somebody needs to step up to the bat and said, we screwed up. We really screwed up, but you're not, I don't think you're going to see that at all. <laughs>